Oh, check Wowhead. Oh, the other cinematics. There are new cinematics around. Uh, let me look at that real quick on Wowhead. Man, I look at Wowhead shit so much, they should sponsor my personal stream. I was just thinking about that. Do you think they should do that, man? Dude, speaking of, uh, of, of, uh, of sponsoring your stream, guess who's sponsoring your stream and getting AdSense from it? Who? The XP Off website, man. They're featuring your live stream and getting clicks and, and AdSense from them right now. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wait, what? Well, yeah, because they've got my website uh, or their, my stream on their website. Like, that's good for me. Like, what, what do you mean? That, that That's awesome. I'm happy. What did you expect me to say? Where are the new cinematics? I was told there'd be new cinematics. Did they lie? Did chat lie? I wouldn't be surprised, man. Are you fucking serious? You're, you're typing debated! God damn it, man. These motherfuckers, I hate dude. this fucking website. Fuck you guys. God, fuck you. Fuck, dude. Okay, you know fuck what? Fuck you. Look at these. Look at these items, man. Like, these are... This is what we're actually going to look at. Oh, these are all the commendations. Is this supposed to incentivize world PvP? Uh, maybe. A pet and a cloak? Look, dude, they're trying, man. Like, Blizzard is trying. They're trying whatever Oh, there's a mount. Can. Never mind, that's good. No, it's a mount. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay, yeah. and then the signet right there. Wow! It's a wow. 350 ring. Wow. That's what everybody wants. Everybody all wants an <sighs> item level 350 <sighs> ring. Bump that shit up. Hey, Blizzard, listen to this. Bump this shit up to an item level 385 ring, and then you'll see people participating. You can't have these dog shit ass garbage rewards and then expect people to bust their ass, break their back for a piece of trash that they're going to replace in LFR. Oh, it's going to teleport you? Who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Like, do you think people are going to spend that much money for a teleport? Make it 385. Teleportation, that, that's just, it's, it's dumb, dude. That's not what they're going to do. It's not going to work. Yeah, it will not make a big enough difference. I understand what you guys are trying to say, but I don't think that it's going to matter enough. I mean, it is good that they're trying, though. I, I'll definitely say that. Uh, I wish they did more than just try, however. Hearthstones or Blizzard's new junk. How many times... Oh, the Vol'jin quest line. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, this is the... Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, this is the whole quest line. We're going to look at the cutscenes. Vol'jin. Son of Senjin, once war chief of the Horde, hear my voice and appear before us. Talanji, your voice be a mighty one. Okay. Vol'jin, is it really you, my old friend? Oh. Bane, your heart beats strong and true. Just like your father. I'd be glad the demons didn't take you. Damn, Bane looks sounds badass. Sylvanas led us to victory oh. in the war against the Legion. But since then, she has done much to strain the honor that binds the Horde together. I must know, when the voice spoke to you, bidding you to name her war chief, Ooh. What spirit was it? Ah, my young friend. Death be dark. Me memory not be what it once was. Was it one someday? Oh, Did he crave the death she would bring? Oh, no. Ah, the memory. It be denied me by the shadows. Shadows that... That be coming for you. Watch out. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Those are attack mobs. You gotta worry. You gotta watch out for those. Okay, let me let me do this one. <clears throat> Confronting Bond Swamby. Well, that's a good cutscene. I like that. Okay. So they're showing up. Ah, you come back. 
Yep. Did you find the spirit of Wuljin? Or are you here to make a deal? Oh. Loa of death, your servant Wuljin has called to you. Yet you have turned a deaf ear to his pleas. What a dick. What? <laughs> You'll be mistaken, Delant. <sighs> Speak plainly. Was it you who urged Bolton to name Sylvanas War Chief? Mind your tune, bull man, or you'll be talking with your father soon enough. Oh, ho, ho. Why wouldn't you want the Banshee Queen All right. in charge? No. Sure, I'm an alpha war and dead, but that's Sylvanas. She be tipping the skills too far. Balance be important. Besides, that one got a nasty habit of keeping what she kills. No, your war chief be no friend to old one, Sandy. Okay. Your words are trouble we do. Step forward, speaker of the war. Maybe there be a way to find the answers you seek. Okay. And then they're like, oh, maybe it's the Lich Man. So they're confronting the Lich King? What, they just show up to his house or something? They're like, yep, yo, what's up, bro? Like, what's going on? All right, here we go. This is the Lich King. Oh. This looks good. Okay. Lich King, the voice I heard as I be dying, telling me to name Sylvanas War Chief. Was it yours? Oh. The Banshee Queen's schemes threaten the balance. I had no hand in them. And me spirit, being trapped in this world, is that your doing? Bolshin, your soul has walked on the other side and returned. You have been altered more than you know. Ooh. You are neither undead nor damned. You do not belong here. Leave this place at once. Oh. I do not like the look of this. I suggest we go, quickly. Leave now or stay forever. The choice is yours. Oh shit. Okay. Um... I, I, I guess that's kind of, like, that's kind of good. What? I, I mean... Nobody's, nobody's losing their mind from this? Like, how is the Lich King, number one, how does he just let them walk up, they say something, and then he gets pissed off and then threatens to kill them? Like, uh, he would know instantly if they came in. I don't understand how this how this even works out. I guess I was just glad that they have, like, more Witch King content and more Scourge content. But if you want my honest opinion, I feel like this story is surface level to a point where it's painful there's like no depth or intrigue to it there's no surprise or originality to it Breach. there's nothing unique or interesting about it it just seems like sylvanas is a plot device to just like move things forward like the way that i look at it okay this is how i think that you should tell a good story Scooby-Doo. In Scooby-Doo, if you think that, let's say, uh, you know, they, they spend the entire, uh, the entire episode trying to capture the ghost or the goblin or the ghoul that's trying to do something bad. So they spend all this time trying to capture him, and then at the end of it, they capture him, and they pull off the mask, and it's the butcher. And at, whenever they, they find out that it's the butcher... 
you can go back in the story and see the butcher doing things that you didn't pick up on because you weren't paying attention or expecting that it was him. There is no foreshadowing. There is nothing that develops the story or makes it seem like anything more than a plot device. That's what I mean by Scooby-Doo. I mean, am I, am I right there, dude? Yeah, you're completely right. Okay, man. well, everybody's like, they're confused, man. Like, who shot Mr. Burns? Well, yeah, I mean, you have to be able to, to give the audience, like, it feels like whenever you just create a story that doesn't, like, make any fucking sense, and then at the end of it, they're like, well, it was because the crazy guy was corrupting Sylvanas. Like, it's not satisfying. And, and I don't know about you guys, but I, I really don't feel, like, satisfied that I know that, like, okay, Sylvanas is obviously being corrupted by the old gods. Okay, like, it's just so... It feels like it's been written by, like, a high school student. And especially, like, them talking to, like, Bond Swan... I, I don't know, I just... I, I don't think it's good. Okay, I, I mean... Also, how does any of this tie into fucking... The tree? Remember the tree? It whispered to players and, like, it said all that cryptic shit, and... How does this Ilganoth. make yeah. Um. Ando and corrupted her. Yeah. New tips out video. What is it? Uh, how do you know like that? Maybe you're just being tricked right now, like in Scooby Doo. I, I don't think that's what's happening at all. Uh, I think that later on they're gonna say that there was an old god corrupting her, and that way they can preserve the character for people that like her, while at the same time allowing her to die in the story and make sense out of it. Like, mark my words now, Sylvanas is going to die, or she will try to become the Lich King, okay? One or the other. And in the process of dying, she will probably sacrifice herself for her sisters as a final redemption act. Whenever that happens, you know, there will be some sort of, like, cut scene where it's like, oh, well, I was good all along, or something like that, or, oh, now I see the light. And, and I mean, am, I, am I wrong? I'm wrong. Like, does anybody legitimately not expect that to happen? And it just feels like the... I, I think they could just write such a better story. Like, you look at the story of Garrosh. Like, despite everything, the story of Garrosh was pretty good. You look at the story of Arthas, fucking amazing. The story of Illidan, great story. The reason that the Illidan story and the Arthas story were good is because they had complex characters that weren't created as plot devices to create an expansion. Like, you, you could see, it, it's kind of like Thanos, for example. Like, Thanos is like a bad guy, but on, on a very, very, like, weird really. level, he, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying, though, right? It, it's like, he's like, kind of just like an ultimate, like, chaotic, like, neutral or something like that, right? or true neutral, whatever you want to say. It's the same thing as like what they really did with Sargeras. Sargeras just wants to remove all, you know, all corruption from the world, right? Which is different than like him being evil. Uh, he's poorly written. Uh, who, Illidan or, or Arthas? I, I mean, I think anybody can say like, I, I mean, compared to what, right? I mean, what, what, what kind of story would you like instead? Uh, old gods can't corrupt Sylvanas. The void can't corrupt undead. Listen. I, I think if we know anything about Blizzard, you know that they can make an exception. Let's be honest here. Uh, what was the first video I watched? I don't even remember, honestly. Uh, Sylvanas is like Trump playing 4D chess. I, I, I don't think so at all. Like, what I'm thinking about it is that I'm pretty sure they're just doing this like, I just think they're using her as a plot device. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, she's pretty much, like... They're, they're using one of the most interesting characters in the game as a plot device. And I think that's dumb. Like, I, I think that, you know, like, there's a lot of people that are, like, big fans of Sylvanas. And I'm sure they're probably frustrated about it, too. We voted for Trump. That's great, but I didn't vote for Sylvanas. How do you hit me? How do you hit me from there? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. Like, hopefully you guys see what I'm saying. But to me, I think it's just stupid.